In this video, we're going to talk about vegetation inside Twin Motion 2020. My name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer, I see you next. Welcome to another Garden Design Tools video. In this video, we're going to talk about Twin Motion 2020 vegetation only. Okay? So, uh, ways to apply vegetation to your project, uh, what's new in Twin Motion 2020, and just a few things about uh, the vegetation available in the library. So we have a few ways to apply vegetation to your twin motion project. Um, so I'm just going to go to the first one. We have what we, they called vegetation paint. Okay, so this uh, pencil here, you have this in the context menu. So basically you grab uh, what you want to apply. Uh, so you painting the model with vegetation. Okay, so I'm dropping this one. Um, I'm dropping this one just pretty random okay and you can uh, sorry you can apply with uh, other stuff with some bushes for example in the fern this is all random guys I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing right now okay just recording the video and just applying so I want all of this uh, but I want maybe I want the Mexican lime with uh, with a different setting or with a different density um, we can change here the density to make the, the Mexican lime a bit more prominent than the other ones. Imagine that. Uh, this is just uh, something I'm thinking about right now. And with the growth age of, I want it at a, a mature age or a, a young age. So basically for each uh, three species, three species, okay, not uh, shrubs or anything else, you have the, the growth setting. You can select uh, the age you want to apply it. growth on or off this is when you're doing the animations or some kind of imagery that you want to change the growth of the trees if you left if you leave it off it's not going to change that species okay but if you leave it on it's going to change with all the other ones the same with the season setting and i leave this all on so basically you have now here uh i'm pressing a control in the keyboard just select all of them okay density multi now uh, and you have the paintbrush and you have the when you put the paintbrush it tells you the diameter of this dome so let's just make it a bit bigger so you can see here so you're basically painting so you're not going to be able to see so much because it's a way of um, just making the workflow quicker so it doesn't show you in high detail it just shows you once you go closer okay so basically this is the weird mix we did with the rock here um and the with the growth vegetation okay so maybe now i want to change the setting of the apple trees for example and i want to make them more mature i can change here okay the same with the other uh, the bush for example you have only size not growth and be careful here with the sizes because sometimes depending on the species of the shrub uh, it just makes them taller it doesn't really uh, it's not very accurate in terms of growth okay uh, be careful with that and the veget and the mexican lime let's see let's make them mat mat mature as well okay so this is just a way of adding quickly vegetation to a woodland area for example um something that can be random okay that's the important part this is random um paint okay the the only thing that you're choosing is the species you want to add uh but this is great for for example context planting woodlands etc okay uh so i'm just going to delete this now other ways to apply vegetation it's vegetation scattered so again you can uh, apply and what i use this for it's um grass okay uh, so this is pretty cool uh, imagine i'm gonna choose a tall grass with some uh, uh, long normal grass and um, so i have these two types of grasses for a more natural feel for example um to your to your um to your garden and i'm just going to choose a material so basically i'm going to select them 
okay you still have settings for each one so you have again size dryness uh, but you can change this after once you applied as well okay but i'm going to select i'm going to press control in the keyboard i'm going to select both and I, with the plus button basically i'm going to add to that material here okay so the more clicks i do the denser it becomes okay um and you can do with minus to to change the the density as well okay or you can just erase all together okay so that's pretty cool and that's the way i you apply um uh, 2d uh, 3d grass to uh, your model in twin motion okay and you have some uh, let me just pick up the here the 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 um, the setting of this border just to show you you have some settings like size okay in size in more it can be wild or uniform if you want a more uh, ornamental grass you choose uniform uh you, ha you have the the coloring okay dryness if you want a bit more dry which stripes the grass or not okay um in here you have the size and the angle of the stripes just make sure you have it right in your in your in your garden so you have quite nice um nice settings in the next video we're going to talk about a little trick to apply correctly grass in twin motion because normally it has the tendency to go to materials on the side so i'm going to show you in the next video how to do it properly um doing some changes in your sketchup model the original model um but this is two ways to add vegetation again vegetation scattered for 3d grass perfect vegetation paint woodlands context uh, uh, vegetation applying um in the background but not really for the garden to be honest okay because you want to be more accurate with your positioning isn't it so let's just go quickly to what uh vegetation you have inside twin motion so basically you have trees and in the trees okay you have the growth setting and the growth setting is basically you choose in what stage of growth is your uh, trees in your model okay and it's pretty cool in the thumbnail you can see the scale of the person okay and plus the the types of uh, growth they have applied to that specific species and it's really specific to that species okay this pretty accurate in terms of how that tree grows um what I really would like to see is this in shrubs and other types of vegetation. So we don't have this in twin motion and we don't have a lot of options in terms of uh, shrubs, bushes, etc. Okay. And this is something I really would love to see. They are really good quality. Okay. In terms of imagery, the ferns, the, the, the rendering is pretty amazing. Okay. Uh, of this is really good quality but uh, we don't have a lot of options okay and uh, this is really lacking and i hope they add soon like i've talked before uh, the 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 plant material is really lacking in twin motion but i'm sure they add soon some some things for us to make us happy uh it would be a great idea even if you have like purchase um a bit like every motion does that they have these packages of like specific collections um and you could maybe buy just herbaceous planting or something like this that would be amazing um and that's a way of maybe not everyone needs that much vegetation like a garden design or a landscape architect does but this was be a way of you uh and buying purchasing just really the plants you want um so the next video in twin motion 2020 is going to be about grass and how to apply it correctly and uh but we're going to work in SketchUp first, okay? So I see you guys see you in the next video. Don't forget Twin Motion demo, it's on. And uh, I'm going to put the link for the blog post for more details in the description of this video. See you guys, stay healthy, and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.